pump it up a little more, get your body going on the dance floor. That's all I know. But I don't want to play today. Get your booty on the floor tonight. Make my day. Make my day. Make my day. All right. Yeah, that's right. I'm about to drop it like it's hot right now. That's right, folks. It's time once again for your two favorite facially blessed individuals aiming to misbehave on this wonderful evening. That's right, folks. The two bearded preachers. We're back. We're ready. We're ready to have some fun. (laughs) We're ready to just, we're going to tear this podcast up. We're back. We're back. Where had we gone? Has there been some great uh, absence? No, uh, no. Actually, we had more podcasts put out last week than we had. I don't know why I said that, but I just just felt like it was appropriate to tell everybody we're back. We're back. Hey, for you guys, back. we're we're welcome back. Thanks, thanks. Welcome back thanks. to the show. Well, it's the first time we've done a pre-show in a long time. That's true. That's true. Actually, went very well. It, it started off a little slow, but we what? ended up with fifty-six viewers. Hey, great. That's, That's good. Tight. People popping That's... in and out. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Popped in. Says some mean stuff. Thank you, Jared uh. and Jesse. <laughs> Hate you both so much. <laughs> hope your internet cuts out and during a competitive <gasps> match and you get banned for ten minutes. I hope that's what happens to you guys. Man, that's like that's that's like heaping curses upon these folks. Yeah. That's yeah. like hot Just coals the, on top of the head kind of stuff. Yeah, they're gonna be dropping it like it's hot too. It's dropping hot coals <laughs> like it's hot. I hope, I hope their I hope their internet drops like it's hot too. That's oh what my I hope. goodness! Oh yeah, I that's say like, that. Listen, that's like my internet precatory prayers right there. I know. Listen, <laughs> I say that because my internet's been all messed up lately, and what? I'm all yeah. My internet's been like crazy, and so I actually called today and ordered different kind of internet to. Uh, Wait, you have options for different kinds of internet? <laughs> yeah, Guess there's only one get. internet up here, just one. Yeah, it's the dialogue. No right? options. Yeah. Yeah, it's the DSL thing. There's They're no like, options. Would you like uh the internet? <laughs> yes, like, yeah, that's well, pretty what kind? Much how it is. What kind? What do you mean what kind? It's the internet. It's the only kind we got. <laughs> it's the only internet we got in Georgia. It's worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> it's the internet. <laughs> well, what's the speed? There's no speed, it's the internet. <laughs> on? It's on? <laughs> is it, oh, you want me to turn it on? Flick like a light switch. Yeah, you guys that's get about the how the internet works up here. Yeah. I'm getting uh, 50 megabytes, dude, for the, for like the same price I was getting 15 for. It's very upsetting to me that you have options for fast internet. And I'm over here on DSL like a sucker. I it's almost ridiculous. ready. Yeah. You're gonna, you're going to be even you're going to be angry at this though, but I'm I already might angry. I might have an, an an option to go to 100 megabytes too. I almost got it tonight, but it wasn't Man. available for me yet. So I was a Fire little upset. Optics. That would be sweet. I would love yes. that. Yes. Well, we might be getting that at the church. Really? Yeah, we might be getting it. We well, have an option that would, for it. That would open up a lot of opportunities for you. Yeah. Like, yeah. you could have Wi-Fi that worked. That would yeah. be so sweet. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> you, mean, you mean you could have Wi-Fi that actually worked? Yeah, that would be nice. People, people could be on the Wi-Fi during the church service. So they wouldn't be have to listen to rec- stuff they had recorded on their phone. They would have <laughs> they'd be able to listen to stuff over the internet, like like a like a reasonable human being. Yeah. It's not this human rights violation of no Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it. That's what it's like. Or slow Wi Fi. Like a- slow like. The whole like I met like see, listen. I've been trying. To, I've been trying to figure out like I've been. I was trying to get the cable, the fiber optic cable at my house. Mm-hmm. nobody's putting it out here for some reason. I don't know why, but, um, but no lie. I like, everybody's like telling me, you need to go CenturyLink. You need to go CenturyLink. You need to go. And I'm like, all right, fine. I'll call CenturyLink. And I know I got about 15 megabytes, you know, right now, that, which is pretty low, mm-hmm. but I haven't had any problems with it for the last, until the last three weeks. Yeah. We're just, I think we're just running too many devices. So anyways, uh, I call, I call a uh, CenturyLink and I'm like, Hey man, uh, can I get, you know, internet over here? What's the fastest you guys got? You know, he goes, well, we got uh, six megabytes. <laughs> and I'm like, 
oh, yeah. what am I going to do with that, man? He's like, honestly, I don't know. Like, the guy was totally <laughs> cool. I was like, I was like, what do you expect me to do with that? Man, I don't know. That's like, it's like the worst, isn't it? I'm like, yeah, it is the worst. Why are you even offering it to me? He's like, gosh, this is just a bad idea. Yeah, he, he's like, if I were you, I would not get this. I'm like, thanks, I'm not gonna. <laughs> that guy is not a good salesman. No, he's not. Not a good salesman, but. He should have been like, six megabytes is all you need for like regular, Ooh. everyday 1983 internet usage. Yeah, like. That would be fun. Like, yeah, for your VHS. What does that have to do with internet? You know, for your VHS. Recording. Your Apple IIe would be able to yeah. operate on this with no problems. Yeah. You actually have to dial this internet up, like on a rotary phone. You dial it's the internet. Up. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's how slow. I was like, "What am I going to do with oh, that?" He's man. like, "Man, I don't know." See, you're saying this like it's a joke, but right over here, I have a router with a dial on it. So really, <laughs> it's funny because I, I was like, I'm trying to get my internet updated, and it's through Bright House, and I go, "Hey, man, can you guys just upgrade me?" He's like. Man, I'm gonna have to send a technician out. I was like, "Why?" He's like, "Man, your your modem is is like the worst modem ever." I'm like, "Really?" He goes, "Yeah, man. It'll only it'll only take up to 15 megabytes." And I was like, "That's kind of dumb." He's like, "Yeah." He goes, and so one. he said, "He said, uh, yeah." So they're coming tomorrow between two and four. We'll see how that goes. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, they're coming tomorrow between two and four. They'll be there sure. at six thirty when the core group's here and everything. And that's what'll happen. So what? Let him in. I will. <laughs> I'll be like, y'all need to get out. I need this internet. Man, he can fill. He can set up a router while you're there. I don't know how long has it got to take. How long is it putting in a mode a new modem take? It doesn't take long. No, you walk in, you plug the thing into the wall, you type some stuff. Done. That's done. It. Done. Done. Easy. All right, we'll be good. You can we'll be good. Easy. I, I wish simple. they would just send it to me. I'd do it. Yeah, I could totally do it. But they got to send out it- a technician. Why isn't it built into your walls? That's what I want to know. Because my come? house was bo- built in like 1970. That's why. Why is Well, they should have thought about that. No. They should. I don't think they had that. They didn't have the internet back then, dude. Did they? When was it? It was, a, it was the 80s, right? We got the internet. Did we get the internet in the 80s or the 90s? The 90s. It was the 90s. Who, me? No, no, no. I'm not saying me, but when was the internet like, created? Personally, when did I get the internet? I got the internet late. I didn't too. I, mean, I remember going on bulletin board systems with my buddy Adam. That's that was well, in the nineties. Martin, yeah. Martin, what were you doing on bulletin boards? Trolling. I was. You was trolling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at them. It was it was like text based web pages that you had to dial the guy's phone number in order to get it. So you had to know the guy's phone number in order to look at his stuff. And then you look at it, and it was just nonsense. It was all text. And it didn't say anything significant whatsoever. Yeah, like, this is, it was a cool project. I don't know. This interweb is so stupid. Right, that's what everybody thought, because they were all doing that. Now, you can't buy a refrigerator that isn't Wi-Fi connected. True. You know, your toilet's connected to Wi-Fi. I would love my toilet to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Like, at least make it a hot spot, because I spend so much time there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You're the one uh, making it a hot spot. No. So don't worry, everybody. Justin's getting better internet, and Martin still has just the internet. Um, internet. I'm going 50 megabytes, and Martin's got the internet. The internet. <laughs> Is that how it was like? You had like some guy. You're like, hey, I'd like to, I'd like to get some internet. You're like, we we can go ahead and get you the internet. Okay, what speed is that? What do you mean speed? It's the internet. It's That's- all we got. We got one. We got one thing. It's called the internet. I went to Comcast yeah. in Hinesville, which is, um, you know, 20 minute drive down the road. I went to their office and I said, this was like the second day I was here. And I said, hey, set me up. I need, I need me some internet. It's got to be fast. Let's go. Because I wasn't going to buy a satellite dish or none of that sort of stuff. I was just going to do what I was doing down there in Florida and have, have fast internet, do Netflix and you know, watch whatever, Leia could watch whatever show she wanted with Hulu or that sort of thing. And they looked at me and they're like, okay, what's your address? I tell them my address and they're like, we can't do it. I was like, you can't do it. I'm like, no, we can't do it. 
So who do I go to? Who gives internet out there? And they looked at me and they were like, I don't even know. So then I have to come back to town. I started asking people in the church. I'm like, who do you get your internet through? Where can I get internet? What is? They're like, what's I internet? Well, they weren't quite that bad, but it wasn't that far from that. It was, <laughs> it was like, well, you can go with Windstream and you get it through the, you get it through the phone. And I was like, uh, oh, when did they say Windstream? I've Windstream never heard of is that the company. I've yeah. never even heard of that. Well, I. It's it's really big in like Haiti and stuff. Really big Haitian <laughs> internet company. It's the best. This is the best. I had a really <laughs> I'm sorry, choking. Hold on. So like when I asked when I was there and I was like, hey man, I can, can I get the uh, can I get the the password for your for your wireless? Like that was a big deal to add me onto your wireless because that just dropped you guys down to pretty much nothing when I jumped on it, right? I don't. I don't even know. I don't. I don't. Man, that's rough. I don't know. That's I'm not even up. paying attention to the thing. I mean, when it works, it works. When it doesn't, it doesn't. Right. Right. It lately, it's been working just fine. Mm-hmm. Of course, the only thing I do on the internet when it, when I upload like this episode tomorrow, it takes longer than it should. Oh yeah. So yeah. I so I upload about our episodes are about three. Or 36 megabytes. About mm-hmm. 36 megabytes is about how much our, an episode is. And it takes it takes a solid seven minutes to upload. That's a, that's a long time. For that. Yeah, for yeah. that amount. I yeah. wonder how much it would take for you to upload one of my two and a half gigabyte sermons. Holy Forget cow. That, I wouldn't, yeah, dude. Wouldn't even do it, dude. That would be one of those things where you start it and you walk away. Dude, I I would do I, it at the office when I was leaving. I would yeah. start it, walk away, and then hope it was up by the time I got back. Well, I've been having issues because my internet's been so bad and it cuts mm-hmm. out a lot. I haven't mm-hmm. been able to upload it at the house. And then I was like, I found out that uh, Starbucks had better internet than I did, and so yeah. I was uploading everything at Starbucks while I was writing my sermons. Nice. And their internet's been out for the last two days, so I've been using Tijuana Flats's. Uh, internet while I'm at Starbucks. <laughs> so and, you're, uh, just, you're just wandering around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to find Wi-Fi. some good internet here. <laughs> I'm like, can I just get some better internet? You know, and, uh, <laughs> and so, <laughs> so I was using Tijuana Flats and theirs is nowhere near as good as, um, because they cut you off like every 40 minutes you get cut off from Tijuana Flats and you got to log back in. And yeah. so I'm like, I'm just constantly using it. Why can't I just stay on it? And then, then my download gets stopped. So, but it take it took like an hour at Starbucks when that one's going, and mm-hmm. and at my house I had to do it overnight. It takes seven to eight hours, and sometimes it never finishes. Man, nah. that's how bad that's it is. Brutal. I know, I know. So, well, you just you just convinced first, me. Not first world to problems. First world video. problems. Video, forget that. So. Uh, years will take forever, dude. All right, I got I got a question for you. Sure. Who do you take more seriously? A man dressed up like a clown or Jen Hatmaker? <laughs> so, who, who deserves more respect? Who deserves more respect? Dude, that is that's brutal right there. Um but what Martin is referring to is the uh how long ago did this happen? Just recently, a couple days? This, is, this has happened over the weekend, I think. Over the weekend? It's, yeah. it's not it's not long. Not long ago. Jen Hatmaker, a uh Christian author just had all of her books pulled from Lifeway. My my wife has read a couple of her books and she follows her blog posts and everything like that. Um, she's a blogger too. She's like got a show on what what network is it? HGTV. HGTV. Oh, so it's not even like a real channel. No, it's not a real channel. It's okay. like one of those channels that people just sort of. Yeah. I think they did it on like a dare. Yeah. So she's like. She's not like a, she's like a semi-celebrity. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, like a... She's not quite to Duck Dynasty level kind of celebrity. She's more she's like... She's not like, yeah. She's like the... She ain't I, one of the Property Brothers. Yeah, I said to Martin earlier, I said, oh, you mean like the the uh, the poor man's Oprah? And he was like, no, like less than that. Yeah. Is what, but like, she... Like the poor man's Ellen DeGeneres. 
Yeah, okay. That's a good call. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, she's popular and people like her a lot. And and she's she's written some books and sold quite a few of them. She's got a show on a HDTV. It's like a reality show. And so she's like semi-popular or semi-celebrity. Well, semi-celebrity. That's a good word. I like that. Yeah, she's semi-celebrity. semi-celebrity. So, and... um. But apparently she got in some trouble this last weekend in her belief about homosexual marriage. Um, she got all of her all of her books pulled from Lifeway. They um, she got in big trouble because she made a comment about um, her belief in homosexual got marriage. Got in big trouble. That's funny. Yeah, and lost her her backing. I guess you would say. Is that what you say? Her, is her backing well, or the- her publisher? Her publisher. Did she lose her publisher? Well, when you get all of your stuff pulled off the shelves, I mean, Lifeway's their publisher. Lifeway's big. Um, that's big. Yeah, yeah. Here's here's my. That's question. the most significant thing she does is the writing. If you are getting a bunch of money selling your books through Lifeway, mm-hmm. why are you going to go out there and say some stuff that you know that the Southern Baptists don't like? I mean, if that's really what you think and you're you're dead serious on it, you know, more power to you for following your conscience and everything. But more power to Tom Rainer for pulling it. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I mean, yeah, yeah. Good on yeah. you, feller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's who's in charge of Lifeway, Tom Rainer. Is it? I think so. Oh, I think guess. Well, one of them fellers. I'm one there. of those guys. Yeah. See, is he... It's okay. hard to tell Baptists apart. Yeah. Yeah, I... Yeah. I mean, did she really expect nothing was going to happen? Like, I guess that's my question. I See, okay, for example, I, I went and asked Faye. And so you guys always hear, like, all the news. And I, I, I always feel like I'm playing catch-up, you know, because mm-hmm. I just, I'm in my own little world and I don't hear everything. And when I do hear something, I'm, like, three weeks behind. So I found out tonight and I went and asked my wife because I know she's read a couple you're of books. You're not that far behind. I'm not as far as I thought. Yeah, you're not that far. Yeah. So I... uh I went and asked my wife, I said, hey, you hear about the whole Jen, Jen Hatmaker thing? And she just kind of like shook her head. She was like, like in disappointment, you know, because okay. like you'd ask me, you know, was she like, you know, you know, she still like her after what she said and everything. And basically she made the comment that she believes that that uh, homosexual marriage is holy. And, you know, if you, you know, it's. It's basically the thing of saying if basically you're saying sin is holy. That's what it's saying. It it's it is considered a sin in the Bible. That's the bottom line, just like any other sin. And and so um so when you say that, it's kind of a uh, it's just not very smart. But but I asked Faye, I said, So did you hear about this? She said, Yeah. I said, uh, what do you think? She goes, I'm I'm disappointed. She's like, I'm really disappointed. She goes, I think she, I think it wasn't a smart thing to say. And she goes, and I, I don't know if it was like, I don't know. Like I'm sitting here going like, did she like, did she like say it? And it wasn't like, you know, like she didn't know what she was saying or, or she was like, no, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out her reason for saying it. Like if she really believes it and she wants to say it, that's fine. That's. That's the reasoning. It's because she believes it. You don't you don't undermine career or whatever for stuff that you don't believe. Right? Yeah, not she supposed to know, you wouldn't. Right. You wouldn't do that. You you would say this stuff because you actually believe it. Here's the here's the whole thing that I had with the that whole situation. I had never heard of this lady until now. Yeah. I had no idea. Somebody, I had heard somebody complaining about her on on one of these podcasts that I listened to. And I was like, who? And I like sort of just skipped by it because... You didn't care. You know, I, didn't, like, huh. I didn't, yeah, I don't care who this person is. So whatever. I just skipped right by him. Yeah. And then I saw a bunch of other people posting stuff about her. And I was like, "Is that, who is this person? Is this somebody who I should be paying attention to? Is she somebody that I need to know? And... Once I started looking into it, I discovered, no, she's not somebody that I need to know. And she's not somebody that I'm particularly interested in. So I don't really see what the whole big deal is. I mean, there's lots of there's lots of people who hold that same position who, frankly, have better arguments than the ones that I've read from her perspective 
So why would you? Why why does this? Who who is this person influencing that I'm hearing about it? Look, I deal I deal mostly in heavier theological works, right? That's where mm-hmm. I, that's where I do most of my reading. Yeah, I read I look, that, and in my reading of like on the internet and the blogs and that sort of stuff, mm-hmm. the stuff that I read is I mean it's nerdy stuff. Yeah, right. It's it's intellectual yeah. academic kind of stuff. So this ain't even in the family of stuff that I'm concerned with or whatever. Because she does the conference thing. Yeah, she does the conference thing. She, and she writes yeah. she writes these books for women. And I mean, th- that's the only reason I know about her is because my wife has read a book. Yeah, you know, or two two of her books. She's read two of them. And yeah. so, and, uh, but even then, I- I'll say it this way. Even then, she was telling me about the show that she has. And I know she was kind of. I don't think she was too impressed with it. You know, that she's like, why in the world are you doing a, a television show? It was about like a home improvement thing or something because like that. Because she can, man. Yeah. I mean, that's why you do a TV show. If somebody offered me to do a TV show, I would do it. Rick, why not? But, Give it a try. But bought like this really expensive house and everything and had to redo the whole house. I guess that's what the show was all about. I'm just sitting there going, what in the world would you want to do a show like that? That sounds stupid. I mean, mean, the only one who makes that work is Bob Vila. Exactly. This old house, like a This old house style, you know? (laughs) You want to know who had a solid beard? Bob Vila. You want to know who doesn't have a beard at all? Jen Hatton Hatton here. Done. Apparently, so therefore, the clowns get more respect. (laughs) Do you know who else doesn't have beards? Clowns. Clowns well, don't have some beards. don't. There, there are some that do have beards. Some clowns have beards. What clowns have beards? Uh, clown can have a beard, dude. Are you sure? Rodeo clowns have beards. Well, we've already discussed the fact that rodeo clowns are that. That's not the same thing. Mad respect for those guys, right there. That's Mad right. Respect. Rodeo clowns, something serious. Yeah, they this are. other stuff I don't know about, but rodeo clown has craziness. Yeah, get the bull to chase you, so the yeah. So the guy riding it can get that way. Yeah. That's it's madness. Absolute madness, mm-hmm. Justin. I'll tell you, on the whole um, homosexual marriage and everything like that, I was asked at, a, at one of my new members class what, mm-hmm. what our stance as a church on it was on it. It was funny because, like, the person asked me, you know, what is our, what is the church's stance on it? And I go, and, she, like, her husband's like, hey, she's going to ask some pretty difficult questions, just so you know. And I go, hey, don't worry, man, I can handle it. You say, and bring it. I said, bring it on. Did she ask you about the uh, eternal functional subordination debate? No, not that one? Because that's a hard question. She goes ahead and she starts off with a homosexual, like, what's your stance on homosexuality? And as I as I get ready to say it, she goes, because I know the Bible says that it's a sin, and I agree with it, this and that. But how do you, you know, how would you, like, treat people that, you know, were homosexual and were maybe coming to your church? And I go, mm-hmm. same way I'd treat you. I shook your hand, said welcome to church, and got to know you. That's what I would do. Mm-hmm. You know? And she goes, Oh really? <laughs> like 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 I don't know. I guess like do people sit back and think like we're like standing at the door with signs saying no gays allowed? Is that what people think? Uh yes, that is what people think. Okay. That was what I thought. Maybe not with a I don't think sign, she thought that, but, but I, I I thought she was like she just wanted to make sure, like, you know, hey, are you, do you do you guys really love everybody? I guess because like they have because who doesn't have a family member that might be gay or is gay, you know, and that was like you know, that was what their th- thought was, you know, like, yeah, we, we, we might you know, we had family members that were gay, you know. Um mm-hmm. are you gonna be like hating on them and stuff like that i'm like no i'm not gonna be hating on anybody dude i don't i don't hate people you know unless That's what you're people say unless you're unless you're oprah why do you hate oprah why why do i why why wouldn't why wouldn't i hate oprah that's a bigger question because she you don't hate her because she gives away people cars you get a car you get a car she gave me car. listen listen in all the years she's been giving away cars i've never gotten a car yeah, so well, that right there people have, how many tapings of the oprah show have you been to None. Yeah, zero. Yeah, you're shooting yourself Whatever. in the foot here, buddy. Whatever. Whatever, man. Welcome to intermission. Yeah, intermission. Yeah. 
You know what she should do, Martin? You know what she should what? do? She should drop that fire like it was hot. Like it was hot? She should like, drop that whole thing like it's hot? She should drop that whole thing like it's hot because it it's really is. It's not a bad idea. It's not. It's a Every bad idea a to say what she said. To, That's what she... Drop it like it's hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. <laughs> so. When the pigs try to get at you, man. <laughs> so the two very preachers uh, are give a wag of the finger to Miss Jen Hatmaker. Why? Here, why do people... Why would somebody pay attention to somebody whose exegesis is so bad? I mean, that's that's the that's what I don't get. Why? Why was anybody reading this lady's blogs anyway? Same thing with uh, Rachel Held Evans. Why was anybody paying attention to her in the first place? It ain't even like she's that good a writer. Who who is that? I don't even know who that is. Don't worry about it. She's nobody. She's some lady. That, Some... that that was way more popular than she should have been and essentially became Episcopal because evangelicalism is bad, okay? Oh, it's really? Bad. Yeah. I grew up evangelical and it stinks and millennials don't like evangelicalism. So she went Episcopal? So we're going to be Episcopal. It's like, oh, seriously? Right, do you have any? Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. She's way more famous than the hat maker lady. Really? Yeah, but that's okay. I I really so so you you can take um Jora Micah, you can take Rachel Held Evans, you can take Jen Hatmaker, and you can put them all in the same box. What box is that? Of it's the box of irrelevance. Well, it's <laughs> well they're not irrelevant. That's the thing. It's the box of people who have a. A large Influence. leadership who don't have the theological chops for the oh. audience that they got. They ain't got it, and you can and you can see it when you read it. Mm-hmm. I can tell. I can tell I, when people were talking about Rachel Held Evans. I went and read some of her stuff, and I was like, "Oh, this lady's a clown." I ain't bothering. You. <laughs> clown. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with Jor Micah. Read some of her stuff. Oh, this lady's a clown. I ain't bothering with her. Same thing with this lady, this hat maker lady. Read some of her stuff. Uh, she's a clown. Ain't bothering with her. Mm-hmm. But you know, I got I, I got high standards. So yeah, maybe that's part of it. I think I think that I just don't have time to read a whole lot of nonsense. I don't understand. You're you're when, too you too you're too busy reading like uh, very deep theological studies to be messing with the garbage like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't like I don't like um, like devotional uh, pop Christianity books. That's not my thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested in any of that. So most of most of my books, I gotta I find out about my special order them, and you know, you, you had some, to get a special some order. Some old books. man with some old old man with a mustache. Right and a pipe and uh, he's, he's got, got like a, a pipe suspenders. He's got he's got elbow pads on his blazer. Yeah, he's got he's a monocle. Got a, he's got he's a pocket freaking, watch. He's a freaking Monopoly man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's this guy who's got to go and find my book for me. So it costs a little extra, but it's a good book. He's I can just see him when I'm ordering it on Amazon. It's all whatever book I'm ordering is already out of print. You gotta read it with gotta, a, you gotta read it with a dictionary sitting next to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, and, and you special order that dictionary like. too, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> they say you got the, you got the dictionary from the same guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, hold on. What does that mean? I got him on speed dial. Yeah. Marvin, I'm going to need this new book that's really nerdy and no one's ever heard of. Right on it, sir. Cheerio. Hip, chip, chip, chop, too. <laughs> right? That's, yeah, yeah. He's pretty cool. And he is English, too. So he is. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. wag of the finger to Jen Hatmaker. Shame on you. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Shouldn't have done that. That's not good. Hey, Martin. Yeah. Is it too early for Christmas songs? Like, like not just in church. Like in church, but anywhere and everywhere. Is it too early for Christmas songs? Christmas songs shouldn't start until Black Friday. Okay. I don't think anything Christmassy should start until Black Friday. I Black so. Friday. I agree. I agree. I the love day. Thanksgiving. Let's not ruin it with all this Christmas stuff. Let's uh-huh. have Thanksgiving 
its own thing, it's great. Then let's, right after Thanksgiving, go ahead and put Santa Claus on whatever. I don't care. But let's hold off until then. Black Friday, let's listen to White Christmas, even though we both live in the South, and White Christmas mm. has to be had on a golf beach. It's going to be brown Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Brown, everything's hmm? dead. Yeah, <laughs> fairly. Like, 75, 75 degree Christmas, as it's going to be. Which is nice. Right. It's nice. Um, so we're in November. We're it's like it's like November the beginning 7th. of November, man. Right. Listen, I don't need. I don't want Christmas in November. I I don't want Christmas no. any other time, other than December, because that's nothing else is Christmas. Like it's December when it's December. I want it to. I want Christmas to feel like Christmas, and songs make Christmas feel like Christmas. I want Thanksgiving to feel like Thanksgiving, and Christmas songs yeah. don't do that. Like I am yeah. a big fan of Thanksgiving. I really do enjoy it and like it. And so yeah. I'm with you on that one. I think right now is too soon. We put up our Christmas decorations on on the day after uh, Thanksgiving. That's when we do it. Mm-hmm. So it or whenever we get back into town, basically. So we do. Uh, that's when we do our decorations, and I think that's an appropriate time to do your. Uh, it's appropriate time to do um, your Christmas songs at that time. Well, there there's there's a time for everything, right, Justin? That's right. Everything under the sun. There's a time for everything. Yeah. There's a time for Christmas and, songs, and November isn't it. That's right. By implication, there is not a time for everything. <laughs> know what I'm saying? So there's there a, is time, a time for there, everything. There's a time for everything, and there's including a time for that not stuff playing not to something. Happen. Yeah, right. there's, yeah. So, I, the, you know what? I just feel like we need to be a little bit more, you know what, let's just say no, not not Black Friday. It's too confusing for somebody out there that's pushing the buttons. December first, that's when the Christmas songs get getting played. So you won't even you don't even want a Christmas. You know song what? I'm Friday. saying you know what? I don't think they can deal with it, and I don't want to see <laughs> I don't want to see uh, a single Christmas decoration in stores until mid November, until mid November, like after my birthday. Okay, I think that's fair. So I think that's Leia totally and I- fair. Leia and I were in the drugstore today, and do you know what I saw? You went to, were you buying drugs at the drugstore? Well, yeah, we were buying buying drugs too, but, we were buying drugs too, but we were also. (laughs) The heavy stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, Uh, antibiotic stuff, but whatever. Uh, uh, Hey, hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know what it was, so. (laughs) I saw some, some Reese's, you know, Mm -hmm. the, the Reese's come out with the different shapes, and it was just Halloween. So yeah. I figured these pumpkins. are Reese's pumpkins. No. Christmas trees. Are they the white ones? It's Yeah, it's the white. <sighs> Those are so the, good. The white whatever. But it's already that we shouldn't have that yet. There should be like a Reese's turkey. Okay, okay. Or, that that or I don't. keep the pumpkin going. I don't There's even disagree pie, with that uh, pumpkin turkey. But let, I'll just say this. I don't think anything Christmas should be sold in November other than the white Christmas trees, than, those things are delicious. Those I don't should know be what, all year. Uh, they should be year round. I don't know what it is. They're just so it's good. It's in the shape of an evergreen. Why can't it be ever available for me to buy and shove in my face? Absolutely, that makes perfect sense. Call Reese's Pieces up. Let them know. I will. I'll get on that tomorrow when I get better internet. <laughs> you know, I'm t- I need that better internet. So yeah, it is way too early. And so like I if I if I win like even like worship songs, if I went to Dana and I said, Hey Dana, can we start doing Christmas songs like this week? He would no. freak out on me. He, he would like he would have a conniption fit. What's a conniption wow. fit? I think it's what like I think it's Dana when you ask him to do Christmas songs early, his okay. reaction. He gets all he'll get all flustered. He'll he would be so mad at me. He's just shaking his head he back and be, forth. No. 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 He would do that. You bad, Justin. You bad. No. No, Justin. No. Like basically how I like yell at Ricky Christmas Bobby. Songs? I just I don't it's not that he doesn't like them. I think he likes them, but I think people when it comes to like certain songs, they get really mad. If you don't play a certain song certain ways, you know what I'm talking about. You know, um, if you don't do, do a certain song in this in the way that it's done, then you get tore up. And so he, for him, he's like, you know, spirit, you know, spirit, the the Christmas spirit, kind of, you know, 
gets kind of kicked out of you when people are yelling at you about how you're doing songs and stuff like that. So, so, so Dana's the Grinch? I uh, never would have thought he'd be No, he's Grinch. not the Grinch. I joke with him that he is. He's not really the Grinch. Yeah. But Buy him he, a Grinch shirt for Christmas. I might. I might. But he doesn't want to do Christmas songs. Anyway, he, he'll do them in December, but I will yeah. not ask him to do it any time before that. And then when the first week we do it will be because I do I do my uh, my Christmas series is all the whole month of December. That's what I do. So yeah. and so it's but just, Advent it. begins in November. Yeah, or something. Season of Advent. You doing that? No, we're gonna still do it. Just no, you're gonna skip it. Yeah, I'm nice. skipping it. Yeah. Hey, you're not high church. No, so I'm not. why why would you be doing uh, Advent stuff? No. Anyway. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. You, you don't follow the lectionary. No. I'm sorry, bud. I know that's disappointing to you, but I don't follow the lectionary. I I have in the past. I but know. and I'm not against it. The the trouble is is if you're following the lectionary, if you want to be if you also want to do something that's thematically consistent mm-hmm. for if you want to do a series, then you have to find Within within the readings in the lectionary, you have to find that theme that connects all whatever time period you're doing your series through. Yeah, and that would that's just a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, it is. that would be that would be exceptionally difficult. But it might be it might be worth it. I don't know because you go through you go through the whole Bible in three years, so there's something to be said for that. But I just don't know. I just don't know. All right, so when it comes to Christmas music, uh, too early, wag of the finger. Yeah, shame, yeah. shame on you. Shame, shame on you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, no I'm calling, I'm calling for a stand, a, a, a drastic stance to say no Christmas music before December, December first. But you can sell those Reese's uh, white Christmas trees. <laughs> That's the only oh, thing yeah. I want to see in the stores. Okay, wide open. Well, it's it's November. We've already talked about that, which mm-hmm. means. It's time for all of the amateur beard people to do No Shave November. Yeah, No Shave November equals Amateur Beard Month. That's what it's called. So That is what it is. But you know what? Some people might start in No Shave November and decide to have a No Shave Lifestyle like you and I. Yeah. No Shave Lifestyle is where it's at. A lot of freedom with the No Shave Lifestyle. It is a lot of freedom. Like A lot of joy. It is a lot of joy, a lot of freedom. Everybody says, you know, like when they, when you, and here, can we give some tips for those of you that are not shaving? That, that, that's a good idea, right? Yeah. Let's give some tips. tips. Like, this is the one thing I hear the most about people that don't, that try not to shave. They say, oh, it's just so itchy. I just can't take it. They're like, oh, it's so itchy. And I'm like, man, it won't stay like that. The more you grow it out, the better it gets. You yeah. know, the softer it gets. Like mine is, I have a very, my son beard is very soft. It's very, you know, um, and it's not even that full right now, you mm-hmm. know, but I trimmed it back on the sides and everything to give it that kind of. it in a little bit. Yeah, I noticed that. Rain, yeah, yeah. I ran it in a little bit. But yeah, my I have a soft beard, you know, and it does not itch one bit. Now that I said that, I just got an itch. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> but. But yeah, it goes away. So just bear with it and use some lotion on it. I don't know. Lotion? Like shaving lotion. Put that on there or something like that. And then uh, when it gets a little longer, start using beard oil as fast as possible because that does help. If you use a moisturizing shampoo on it, that helps. Because yeah. what's what's going on? The itchiness is coming from dryness. Yeah. Right. And yeah. And it's your dry skin that's itching. It's not the beard. Yeah, you gotta moisturize that beard. Yeah, yeah, it's key. So, it's key to I say growing a beard. Little head and shoulders. Yeah. Now, good to go. Now, see, for for us professional beard growers, um, we realize that you do have to trim a beard for it to grow. But see, you yeah. amateurs right now, you're in no shave November, so your beard just has to grow. Okay, you just gotta grow it. You don't get to trim it. Okay, so you're just yeah. gonna have to keep. Keep going with that, okay? So yeah. just it's just embrace it, go with it. Lots of moisturize, you know, like keep it keep it like oiled and everything like that. That'll help a lot. So I know that's I had like a great oil, Mister Gibbs. It's called Mister Gibbs. Gibbs. Mister Gibbs. Mister Gibbs. It's my beard oil. It's so good. It's like this little. I gotta order some more soon, but it's so good. It's like the 
the smoothest beard oil I've ever used. And I've used a number of them now. So, um, mm-hmm. and I had the Mr. Gibbs, uh, it's like a bar of soap that I rub into my beard. Oh, mm-hmm. it's the best. It's the best. Love it. Love it. So, but wash your beard just like you would wash your hair. That's another thing I'd say. Wash your beard just like you'd wash your hair. Yeah. You know, you just, just you not, don't use facial soap. Don't use facial soap with it. Like use your, use facial soap on here. Use like your regular shampoo on your beard. That's what I would use. Do. Uh, facial soap. Mm. Yeah, dude. Do you have I, a different soap for your face than for your? I, body? Uh, yeah, I have. I have. Well, y- here's the interesting part. I have one soap that's like a three in one. It's like hair and body, hair like shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I use one soap say- for all that. It just says soap on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the soap. Soap. I buy it in the Dollar Tree. But then I have a special soap, soap from my side. face. I have special soap from my face, and then I have special mm-hmm. soap from my beard. Okay. It's a little... Like, I had to do that. When I started getting special soap from my beard, I had mm-hmm. to cut back on the other soaps. Like, I can't do this whole, like, you know, oh, I got a, I got a body wash, and then I got, a, I got shampoo, and then I got conditioner. I'm like, can we... And I even said one day, I go, listen... I'm not going for the long hair look anymore. I don't care about that garbage. I don't care about anything. Yeah. Can I just go ahead and get one soap with everything in it? And guess what? The answer is yes, you can. And it you is can. it is glorious. I noticed you also lost your uh, preacher comb over. Yeah, I, I went ahead and cut it the other day. Last Too week. Much? Last week. Oh, just a little change. I'll probably grow it back, you know. But, yeah, I went, uh, went without it. So, I loved okay. it. It was my favorite thing. Faye... It was like, uh, she made a joke about me cutting it, and so I did. And then I was like, I hate this. I hate it so much. I was so mad. I did. I'm like, I did this for you! I did it for you! And it then sounds, I was like, I hate it! It sounds like you do, you have like a almost a beauty regime that you go through. Do, do you get pedicures? No, I don't do any of that. I just have a routine. That's it. Do you think, do you think that getting a pedicure for a man is inappropriate. Uh, I would. I don't know if it's inappropriate. It's not something I would do. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, if you and you know what, I, I read something. Not even. I read. I watched a video. I think I sent it to you about this guy, and he's like, you know, it's like a, one of those manly guy commercials. It was like for coffee or something like that. And he's mm-hmm. like, we're not going to make fun of you for this or that, but don't be this or that, you know. And it's and it's the idea is like, you know, hey, if you want to get a pedicure. Just go ahead and get us thing a pedicure. I don't care. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think it's like anything means you're manly or womanly or whatever. It doesn't really bother me. And so, uh, <laughs> if you really want that? That's what you want. Go for it. I'm not gonna get one. If I, you know, my idea of pedicure is you bite your toenails. If you like a pedicure, go ahead and get one. Right? Like if it if it's relaxing for you. Yeah. Some people like that. I like to go to the barber and get my hair cut. I used to cut my own hair, and I don't do that anymore. Mostly because I need to take Dave to the barber and get his hair cut. And you, you don't need to do take no kid to the barber to get their hair cut. Look, look, look. You can look, do look. that yourself, man. I I've seen I've seen myself. your kid's haircut. I you can do awful. that yourself. You can. I've seen what you've done. I've Anybody seen what that. they do. I mean, I saw a picture of your kid's hair just the other day. I was. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, you should see a recent one. I saw the Halloween one. Okay, so that hair boy, man. I mean, he that just hair. just shave it off. I just shaved my kid's heads. I know, but he hates it when I shave it off. Why? He's like, he doesn't like to be called bald. And He's I'm like, not. who's calling you bald? Nobody. So what is the problem? So, I'm going, I'm just, I don't want to be bald. I don't want to be the bald kid. It's my like, boys love it, I think. I hope they do. I love good. cutting all my hair off, but I stopped doing Me it. Too. I stopped doing it because I, I did it like right before a wedding. Because I was mm-hmm. like, man, I just, want, I just want to shave my head right before a wedding. I just wanted the freedom of not having to worry about my hair. And they didn't like it. Uh, no, no, they didn't care. But then I saw a picture of myself. Mm-hmm. And I was looking down at my Bible, <laughs> and it looks and I looked like I was bald, dude. I was like, "Oh my gosh, what is this? The worst so look." Now you grew it in, huh? Yeah, and I untagged myself in that picture <laughs> immediately. Like, oh no! 
I was like, oh, this is a... So everywhere I went, I didn't look down like that because it made me look bald and everything. So every time I, I, lo- I was looking up like the entire time, it was like the best month of preaching because I never looked at my notes at all. So, uh, so the, self-conscious. Well, why, don't you, why don't you start doing that all the time now? I do. Is, I do. Keep your head up. Like something's really hot in my hand. Yeah. And then I'm going to drop it because it's really hot. So imagine that you're holding something that is quite hot. But it's holding something would, really hot. Right. Uh, how you would go about dropping it. Ah, like that. So yeah. drop it like so it's it, hot. I'm going to be like, So it ah. falls immediately. Yeah. You're, you're, not, you're not lingering with the hold. Let's say for some reason someone had like a boiling pot of water and they just handed it to me. They were like, here, hold this. And I, for some reason, did. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I, I would just I would just immediately drop it like it was really hot. Because because it is. Scalding hot. Right. Yeah, I would and that's drop how it you're like going to drop this pump up, right? As if yeah. it were hot. Yeah. <laughs>